Right, here's the thread. I just thought I'd um, uh, pop up a, uh, a five minute video, um, not necessarily to show the right way to do things, but just to share how, how I do things and how it really works well for me. And I'm, I'm quite happy with the end results and um, the process. So uh, let me just open up the software and so just to, as a random example this is a house um, as built or existing um, it's in england so it's pro probably largely different to the types of projects you're used to working on excuse my voice by the way i've just had a uh, minor medical procedure and it's left me with a sore throat for a week um, but first First things first, just for basic elevations with no real requirement for loads of information, um, simple elevation tool. Point it at the house. I'm sure you know all this. Um, and there's an elevation. Um, a bit messy and a bit of a strange looking house, but it is how it is. But um, as I say, it's just a random example, and maybe not even the best one on, on my uh, in my files at the moment. I just picked it at random. So, what I like to do with that is go into Technic Options. You can actually set this as a default. Take off the shading contrast, and then if I want to be a little bit arty about it, I'll put on a little bit of light and shadow, um, adjust that with the sun tool, uh, something like that. Um, not the best example but I'm just rushing through a little bit and then file um, sorry I'm having centre layout sorry centre layout pick your scale um, I'll go for 100 on this one entire plan view blah 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 plot lines the all important uh, plot lines make sure that's checked Colour fill is also quite good, um, depends what sort of printing and that you're going for. But so I'll send that a 1 to 100. Don't worry about that, it's just a random uh, example. Oh, I sent it to the wrong one. Oh. Right, sorry, I've got two layout files open at the moment. There was a time when we couldn't do that. 1 to 100 and plot lines now if I was in in England the way we work we work with town planning that deal with environmental impact of buildings so they're not interested in detail at all they, they just want to know what you're building and where you're building it they don't care how you're building it that's somebody else's department I think you call it code where you're from we call it building regulations um, so that's on a layout page now and it just needs a bit of tidying up the first thing is it's below ground so so I just cut the layout box on, on something like this and get rid of all the rubbish that the section hasn't made a particularly nice job of um, and then a tool that I didn't discover until very recently is this one up here where all this unnecessary rubbish you can just go around deleting it all um, you can also minimize it in the process of creating it but this is just brilliant uh, you must export it with plot lines to, to do this got 
all sorts of obviously I, I would take a lot more time over this um, but all, all of this rubbish can go I would make sure the sunlight was a lot more subtle than I've actually showed it but I'm, I'm sure you get the idea I often take these off as well um, yeah, so just I'll just run run through them and tidy them up a little bit so and there, there's an elevation and what I love about Chief it always has a, a look of um, an element of being hand drawn as well as being CAD where some uh, AutoCAD drawings just look sterile to me and uh, must be harder for people to engage with so that so that's um that's how i do a basic elevation and so if i want a section through the building i've got a section line here already so i'll cut through that and there's there's a nice basic section through the drawing now what i would be doing on sections is foundations um, all, all the technical detail uh, floor depth floor joists what type of joists roof tile insulation um, so it's a whole different ball game of specification really so the first thing I do is I go into layers and I'll copy this layer set, but I'll call it something that's relevant. So um, let's see, I always put it in capital so it stands out quickly. I always start my own custom anything with a number one. So it's at the top of any list. So I'll call it one building detail. Okay. And then I'm going to edit this list so I don't want furniture on it. So layout. Still in building detail. Cross furniture off. Don't want furniture. Mouldings are just more lines to deal with. So we don't want mouldings. So let's get rid of the mouldings. So still on building detail scroll down to moldings wherever it is it always always plays hard to get this one for some reason there it is get rid of moldings so it's a much cleaner thing to work with um i don't think we really need terrain on this in fact that's probably just going to clutter the thing up uh, so let's get rid of all the terrain. God, just get rid of the whole lot. Primary, secondary, perimeter, labels, features. That's it, that's all done. So from there, I actually turn this into a CAD object because I've got the basic shape of my building it's entirely consistent with the outline elevation because it comes from the same source so I haven't started it from scratch and that's cross-reference anything as long as the in initial model is programmed with the correct information and that I know I had a 170 or a, a an 8 inch um, choice depth and so on and so on so uh, that's all important to have your base readings correct um, but from there I go CAD CAD detail from view and probably from from this point onwards I just take a couple of guidelines for my own use that's um, the first floor level, edit, copy and paste in place, second floor, edit, 
copy and paste in place. First floor. And then all these walls, they, they get so messy. I mean, some of the rubbish it generates is it's just uh, very difficult to work with. So I'm really just working on guidelines. So um, one thing I do, um, let's get rid of that floor because we've got a line. Get rid of, oops, still want that guideline. So one thing I do, I, I make a library of items. So let me just open it. So this is a separate plan that I just keep as a kind of a template. And if I go to CAD, CAD detail management, um, I think I've got a strange labeling system, but I know what it means. That, that's good enough. Um, but I go to components and, and this is all stuff that I've made in the past. And I just make a point of saving certain things to that are, are used in repetition. So what I would do, I would get a blob of concrete. Uh, what else do we want? Floor build up. Um, of course, for different construction method, you'd be saving entirely different things. Um, a brick. Oh, a brick there and a block. That, that's, a, that's enough to get started. You know, I think you get the gist. Copy and then edit, paste, paste, paste. And so first thing I'm going to do is run some brickwork. Now, obviously, if you're working in siding, you'd run some siding or, or whatever. It's, uh, I'm, it's I'm really trying to just share a, a work method rather than a specific um all masonry all, all brickwork masonry in uk is in in the age of metrics 75 mil for a brick and a join um so i go to multiple copy open that set that 75 and good to good to roll that up the side of the building now so there's there's my wall and then i can get rid of any of the rubbish that's still being displayed. In fact, I usually get rid of it before, but I just wanted to kind of explain what I was doing. So there's a masonry wall, uh, run some blocks up there. We have an insulated cavity, 100 millimetres, four inch. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Multiple copy. A block is three bricks, which is two, two, five. Let's get rid of some of this rubbish prior. Don't need it anymore. And there are ways to eliminate a lot of this rubbish in the in the layer set, but again, just explaining a point. Two two five, just run that. So there's your block wall, and then you know a rafter. I just draw a square. Whatever you know, you know wall plate on top of there, fascia detail, and then for example if I wanted a foundation I would go a couple of courses into ground level or just one whatever, um, change that back to 75 Okay, and there we have a wall, and then a, a fairly standard floor detail in UK is um, screed over 
dense insulation and I'm just going to bring my floor level back. This house is actually on a sloping plot but I'm really rushing this so uh, don't think this is my idea of decent work. Um, we'll put a foundation there um, and this way the details are attached to someone's project and they're not just copy and pasted from a library of generic details and it, it kind of proves it all works as well or fits in its spaces so on this one I'll put a concrete floor slab sometimes I prefabricated timber or whatever but again just for an example that would be the floor build up and you won't pull all that across And there's a build up of your floor done passed by building control when we build this wall we just copy and paste a big lump of this one set it on multi-copy up it goes um, and with my components you see I've, I've got roof tiles in there so i can run those up a roof joist hangers coping stones rsjs a complete um, block and beam floor detail rather than a concrete floor. I've got loads of stuff that I can just literally, just to show you an example, that's one I keep in my library. So edit, oh, sorry, I'm rushing. Edit, and to copy that, not cut it. Edit, copy, uh, edit, paste. Paste, paste, turn, flip horizontally. Um, I could take that floor away and put one of these in. And there, there we have uh, and I can check that against my Finish floor level. Well, it's too late now, but I'm, I'm rushing. But I'm just giving you the general idea. So there is um, the, the start of a section. So I'd run that all the way up. I'd, depending on which way the choice were running, I would just show them with a cross box. Correctly sized to um, whatever the joists are going to be based on span tables or engineers calcs etc um, i've copied up 400 odd joists at the 400 on center run that across there's a the floor joist if we need fire stop in between the floor joist Grab something I've already got. If it's the same material, of course. And run that across 400. And some components you can grey out, some you can highlight. You, you know, the sky's the limit, really. It's I, I find this a great way to work. So for a, for a complex section drawing, I wouldn't mess about with the way I did that elevation and add this, add these symbols over the top. Some people do, good luck to them. Um, but for me, this is now um, just as easy to export to my plan file it's simple to edit line by line and if I need to share this with somebody else it's not a hybrid of two file types CAD, CAD over the, the plot lines so I can export that as a DWG as well and uh, it works for me there, there's variations on this that other people like to do but this works well for me and I, so I just thought I'd share that. I, I hope it helps. I really do.